Show sure, what's up guys, I'm finally back with a new video. Today I will try to make a small size liquid cooled PC with Latte Panda Alpha by using my custom liquid cooling system which I have made a few weeks ago. I will also try to overclock the Latte Panda Alpha if our project works out. Before starting this video, I wanna give a shout out to GLC PCB for sponsoring this episode. GLC is one of the most popular PCB manufacturers out there. They manufacture high quality PCBs at a very low cost. You can get up to 5 pieces of 2 layer PCB in just $2. I have been using their services for the past 2 years and I always get good results. The PCB ordering is so simple, just go to glcpcb.com, upload your Gerber file, select PCB settings and order your 5 high quality PCB in just few bucks. So let's begin. So this is Latte Panda Alpha and it will be our main boat. So first of all we have to remove the stock fan from the boat. So this is the main chipset or processor and we have to make a water block for it. To make it, I'm gonna use a piece of acrylic and processor size heatsink. hours later Ok, I have glued well the heat sink with the acrylic and now we have to dry it for a day. The next day. Alright guys, 50% of the water block is complete. Now we have to make its remaining parts. So let's do this. La propuesta está con su precio, sigue así. Que tu novio no está en vivo, te meto mano. Yeah, fe te entera. Sin dropping, como quiero. No sé que estoy haciendo mal. Jeje, boy.
later. Okay guys, the water block is ready. Now we have to fill coolant or water into it and see if there is any leaking problem. So as you can see guys there is no leaking problem and it looks good. So in the next video I will fix it into the board and install everything into a 3D printed cabinet. So stay tuned for that and that's it for this video guys I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.